mean, this is a core first-gen, second-gen reflection challenge, almost regardless of your country of origin. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, I love the restaurant too. We've spent our whole lives, you know, building building this um, this restaurant that we started from nothing. It was a donut shop and it failed. It was an ice cream shop and it failed, and then a restaurant. And so, obviously, you know, I had that fear too. But also, my parents did raise me to speak up for people that don't have voices and to stand up for the right thing. So, you know, there's like there's that conflict, obviously, between you know is now the right time or not. My parents have done such a good job becoming so integrated in the community. We were afraid of, you know, community members getting mad at us and not supporting the restaurant. So that was, you know, a real fear. But my parents did raise us to, you know, do what we think is right. So, yeah. Right, there's that, that duality. I mean, but for first gen or for recently arrived immigrants, it is about survival, yeah. right? It is about okay. economic survival. It is about survival by all means. It is only the luxury of those of us who then follow to begin to ask these questions. No, absolutely. I mean, you know, that generational tension, it is, you know, one of the key tensions in the film. And it's how we deal with the external forces, you know, inside our family. Um, and it, the film it being so much about the American dream, you see what, you know, my dad's and my mom's, their American dream looked like, right? It was so much just about, um, you know, financially supporting your, your family and, uh, getting in through college and keeping a roof over your head, right? I mean, that's what their American dream was. But for our generation, that's kind of shifted and evolved a little bit. It, of course, includes all of that. But there's this other element now that we want to be seen. We want to have our voices. We want to be... Um, we want our experiences to be viewed at as part of the American experience. We want to open up that conversation of what is the American experience. And the reality is America is a country that's built on so many families like my own, refugees, immigrants. And, you know, it, it, we, want, we want to cement our place in this society. And so in that clip where Jacqueline is like, you know, this is what my parents did, but I don't think I can be that way. I think what she's, you know, what it's exploring is that this American dream has changed. It's not the same. It's also just so important when we talk about cultural archives, right? The fact that you have now captured that you were here, right? That these stories matter, that these voices matter. I wonder for you if going through the process of making the film, if it changed the way you thought about the American dream. I do. I do. I, and uh, just the, uh, it, it changed the way that, you know, with freedom that I wanted to listen to my children. Now, instead of my children listen to me, I mm. mean, and I say, you know, just don't do whatever I tell you not to do. But now they got a way of their own. And you can see the change happen right here in this election that we just went through. These are the generation that have changed the landscape of this election. So by, by all means, you know, now it make me respect more to my, to my kid, make me learn more, say, wow, they do. They change the way I'm thinking for the, you know, my generation, so. It's a bold move to take out a camera and film your family before you even talk about sharing it with audiences. So our entire team wanted to know, are you still invited to Thanksgiving? <laughs> yes, I... Perhaps I'm, I shouldn't ask you, is he still invited to Thanksgiving? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. No. I, I think I am. No, Thanksgiving will be a special day for us. Uh, we're going to be able to share the film with the community of Bad Axe. We're doing a, a Q&A where the whole family will be there, and we're really looking forward to that. So so he has to come because he's going to have to answer to, you know, the community of Bad Axe <laughs> in front of, you know, in front of the... No, I'm, I'm just kidding. They've, they've been great. I love it.